Hey guys, Grassman here, playing more Island War. So today we're going to talk about what not to do when building a base. And we're going to do that by playing some normal battles. I'm also going to try for, let's say, 2800 or 2900 today. And, good news, my clan got 118th in the clan war, so that's good. Um, is there anything else I was going to say? I don't think so. Here we go. Here's what not to do. Okay. Um, yeah, you sh don't put... Okay, first off, too many buildings. And these ones are too close together. This one's also here. It's okay, but I'd say move the gold stash to, like, down here where these, um... Oh, now I'm gonna die now. Damn it. That's such... <sighs> We're gonna lose now, too. Because it thought I was touching the... Stupid. Okay then. Well, oh, that's stupid. I didn't mean. I didn't touch the thing. I was zooming. Okay. Okay, this is a good map. Um. Okay, this is completely useless. These two bombs. Those three bombers are also very weak. Don't use the bombers for defense. Only use them for offense, because they only do good damage to, like, towers and buildings. Um, so this is okay, except assassins will jump up here really easy. I'd say make one of these guys melee, because otherwise assassins will just, just jump up and destroy it. Um, this is okay. And I'm gonna have to attack from this side up to there, so that's designed well. So then... The assassins jump up this way. Similar problem with buildings with the other guy, he's got, kinda got, he's got at least one, two, he's got at least four buildings. He's got five buildings, he had three cannons, I think. I think he had three cannons and two crossbows, or four cannons and two crossbows. Really, I don't think the buildings are worth it at all. They're too easily destroyed. And I don't, they don't do enough damage. If you can get them to a high enough level, maybe. I have no idea how people get to, like, 4,000 trophies in this game. I want to be one of the better players that gets, like, 4,000 trophies or something, or 100,000. Or not, like, not 100, maybe not 100,000, but, like, 15,000. So here he's just put all of his things in one spot. Also note... When the paratroopers go down, even if they die before they touch the ground with the bomb, the bomb will still blow up. So sometimes you can send one, you can only, you have to send only one in, and then it's fine. Yeah, I have, I have, I don't know what I'm missing though. I know I'm missing the wind guys. I need some, uh, air mages. I need air mages, and I need more, like, group guys. I need higher level berserkers. I need higher level guys in general. It looks like some of these people are using like higher level archers and stuff. So, I need to upgrade my cards as well. Of course, I saved the gold for doing the gold openings. I have like 3 million saved right now. Um, again, kind of put all the things too close together.
There we go. I don't even know what killed that. So. Okay, he spread out his building. Is good. Um, odd bomb placement. I guess since you do have to go up there, though, it's okay. Of course, they can be defeated by paratroopers. I'd say don't use bombs. Again, I, I recommend not using bombs. Interesting design. You're supposed to go up this way and then over the other side. Um, this part here is susceptible to ninjas, and then there's a, yeah, there's no melee guys in this top middle part. You're gonna get destroyed by ninjas. Um, so I will one ninjas go up. Why are none of you going for this thing? I guess the archer's gonna shoot over here, so that's fine. The archers took that down. Oh, I didn't get that. I forgot to set about the bombs. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are just... They're just stronger. If you you can see, there's like that yellow glow around the archers, the frost ones, and the normal ones. Mine don't have a yellow glow. Mine have a mine have a green glow. Mine are six, so I assume theirs are like eight, between eight and ten, probably. I don't think there's level ten, so eight or nine maybe. Yes, he kind of grouped up his buildings. Having this thing here is kind of dumb, because, like, had I sent assassins on this side here instead... Why is it turning so weird? Had I sent assassins on this side, it, they could have gotten up and destroyed the building. I missed, though, and I accidentally sent them at the Hulking Hurler. Alright, the nuns are healing this. Yeah, so... I have no idea which of these, like, setups is the best. Which of the staircase setups. Okay, this one's... They're all kind of close. These two are really close, and this one's possibly archerable. Or or I can try and shoot at it. There's no, like, melee guys or and not much range next to it, other than the guys up top where I'm going to be attacking to anyways. I should just be able to send these guys down on top of it, then. I'm gonna attack up there and destroy those guys anyways, and then there's no melee and not much range on them. So if you're gonna have buildings up alone in your cliffs... Make sure you have something like archers nearby. And make sure they're not susceptible to ninjas. Here they aren't, because there's, like... There's the melee at the bottom, and then there's these guys, and then there's... These frost archers here, and then there's these shadow assassins that even if they teleport up, the shadow, assass the shadow assassins follow them. So you can't really take out- plus it's the high health one. So paratroopers alone will take a long time to kill that, if they even can. Why are you just ignoring the walls? Are they supposed to just- are they supposed to do that? Are they supposed to ignore the walls like that? Or is my- or is something wrong? So I guess I can tell you of my tales of Age of Empires. As so I was playing Age of Empires, or yes, I started yesterday. He's getting that thing through the wall. So I started playing Age of Empires yesterday. And by... I, I mean, like, I started a new world yesterday. A new game. 
I started playing years ago. I was like maybe two when I first started playing that game. I don't know any one of the, any of like the fake knockoffs. I've got the like, we've got the, the original game. I'm just playing a laptop. So I start my game. Normalish world. There's supposed to be like three players. Or there, no, there's six players. I'm one of them. Um, okay, he stuck his buildings together. Not smart. And there's just a wizard here, so I'll just have the assassins help and destroy that one. Easy win. I wonder if it gives you opponents based on... I might know what it is. If it gives you opponents based on arenas, based on, like, leagues, once you get stronger level guys... Once you have stronger level guys, your your strong guys can just go in and defeat their weak guys. If it's based on leagues, because the leagues stop at... Where are the leagues? Hey, 51,000. Nice. Um, the leagues stop at 2,500 here. So that ultimate champion, it just stops. If at ultimate champion, it stops um, giving you harder, giving you like harder opponents, it might be based on. Okay, what is this bomb? What? So if it's based on leagues, then I understand once you have stronger guys, how people get so high. If it's based on like attack points, I'm still I have no idea how people get to like fifteen thousand consistently. I guess just a lot of playing. I don't I don't really play that much. I play like a little bit here and there and I win quite often when I do play. I just play less. There we go. I think it might have been the snowman is the snowman's A lead about it. So Maybe we'll upgrade a bomb here. That's a six, that's a five, not quite. Is it worth? I think it's my first level seven, and I'll put the level fours there. So, yes, I start a game, it starts off normal, I'm going about my business. At some point, at some point in the future, I'm going to, at some point in the future, I'm definitely going to, like, record, record myself, put on YouTube me playing Age of Empires. That game is super fun. So... Yes, yeah, so I start a game. I'm in like the second age or something, because I, th I think there's the first. Then there's three upgrade stages. So I'm in like the third stage now. I've upgraded twice. Drop all these guys here. So I've upgraded twice. So I'm in the third or fourth stages. The fourth one's really hard to get, and naturally, a bunch of the, the naturally guys. The Orange Cavalry arrive! Or I think it was the Red Cavalry. It was the Orange or the Red Cavalry. And basically, three had immediately declared- three of the AI guys had immediate- three of the AIs, because it's five AIs and me. Three of them had immediately declared war. Two were neutral. So I, like, I bribed one with a bunch of stuff. But a whole bunch of things to be friends. And then, so we were allies. And that was Yellow, and then me and Yellow ended up, we ended up fighting. Not like me and Yellow, but we ended up fighting the other guys. This is a long fight. I'm going to win, but... So, the other the other guys were pretty much all teamed. And then once I made friends with Yellow, the other guy declared me his enemy. So I had four enemies and one ally. And it should be they're all enemies against each other. But I think they all made friends with each other. I'm pretty sure all all other four of them were allies. Um, clumped everything together. So I'm so I'm like, well, this is gonna be fun, but I'm fine because I'm building walls and I'm 
and I'm getting rushed by the cavalry, and I wasn't done. I had built a couple of towers, I was get, about to build walls, and then the cavalry rushed me. And there, I found that we were all on islands, and there was only two islands I hadn't been to. Or no. There were only two islands I could get to. There were only two other, like, island things I could get to. It wasn't islands, it was just land masses with rivers dividing it. So it was six sections of land divided by river. Only two could get to mine. And then, like, another, another, there were, so there were only two ways onto my section. I was in a corner. And there were, like, four ways onto yellows. So yellow got rushed and destroyed. I started getting rushed, but what I did was I, I was, I was, like, sure I was gonna lose. I'm, like, I'm thinking I'm totally screwed. There's nothing I can do. They've rushed in. They've killed all my guys. I didn't train much of a military yet. I'd gone really high, really fast economy. And then I was just, I, I hadn't trained much military yet. I was getting priests and stuff, and I was going to build walls, and if they attacked, I would just convert their units. Um, building's all way too close again. <clears throat> I was going to get some, like, archers, but then, first off, for some reason, apparently half of my military tree was, was locked. So even now, I haven't been able to get the upgrades for the, the upgrades for priests. It's much harder to convert units. So I built walls and stuff, I managed to seal a bunch of my guys in, and then I realized I have no way out because you can't destroy your own walls. So the I ended the so I stopped the attack, and I was able to convert some of their white horsemen, their uh, their cavalry. There's the scouts and then there's the cavalry. So the cavalry we are knights riding the white horses. So I converted a few of the cavalry. Excuse me. I um where's the stuff? It's all again in the corner. Hmm. Put just that there for now. Need to blow that up before... Okay. Well, they're all my assassins, but it's gone. The bomb's gone. The bombs are quite OP if you can catch your... If you can catch enemies in it. But they can usually be defused by paratroopers. Yeah, so... I survived the attack. I had kind of walled myself in, but I still had my town center. So I, I hired another guy hired some priests, and then I tried to convert, and I kept converting their guys. And then I slowly moved back, built some walls, so, oh, this one's hard. This one's okay design. But yeah, good, they're up there. And then these guys, assuming they can fight, mm, they couldn't kill the wizards. The wizards, these guys are all high level guys again. There's so many, like, just snowmen here, though. We might be fine. No, we're gonna lose this one. Yeah, the guys are too high levels. They hit the really high-level wizards up top. Not much I could do. Unless I'm, like, missing where a bunch of my guys are. We lost. So I built a wall in between some forests. So I was missing part of my island, because there was a forest on my island, and I built some wall to prevent guys from getting in and attacking again. Because I couldn't go up further because there were enemies up there. But I went, so, after a while of mining the forest and getting stronger, which is what I did today, so I stopped yesterday and I continued today, I moved up where the wall was, can I, five, four, three, okay. So I moved up the wall, again, useless bombs. No one's gonna need to destroy this if they've got all your three of your other things first. This one's not bad. Why do people think the useless bombs are gonna do anything? The bombs are already quite bad and you just stick them in the worst spots. Like, you want it where someone is going to have to run it over. No one's gonna walk up there unless it's like the last thing they're destroying. And if it's a, if there's no building up there that's going to mean they have to go up there, they're not going to go up there. They're going to get the main buildings first. So I moved up my space. I kind of guarded everything. I was still using priests to convert. I had stolen a couple of their guys, and I was starting to make progress on the enemy island. So I was, like, on Green's, on Green's section, I guess, not islands. Oh, let's get this one. 
So on Green's section, I started making progress and just killing all Green's guys, killing some of the other guys. Because at this point, they're running out, the world's running out of wood. Because resources are limited. In that game, the ways, there's a couple of ways to obtain resources. So, you can, you can collect, you can, for wood, you can mine trees, that's it. For food, you can kill animals, berries, or farms, which are built out of wood, so you can turn wood into food. I might lose this one anyway. Um, for gold, you can mine gold, and for stone, you can mine stone. As well as for wood, food, and stone, you can trade gold. You can trade go gold for those things. But only with an, only with a port, another port. So you have to go, like, trade gold. Give gold to the enemy port, and then get goods yourself. Of course, you're not actually giving them gold, you're just... The ship's going to your port, and it's trading with just people. And then they get they get f food or wood or some or stone, whatever they want back. Might be up at three thousand here. So, mm. those guys will get up there. Hopefully, they'll win that fight. Please win that fight, and then they can just destroy all the things there quickly. Ah, uh, they didn't win the fight. Upgrading my assassins would be good. That wizard's gonna be a problem if he starts shooting all oh, my guys. Ah, uh, we might lose this one again. It seems like the enemies are so strong that I'm at a point where if I don't win immediately, I'm, I'm gonna lose. I haven't lost this one. So, um, yeah, so, I'm doing okay, I'm bugging green, suddenly they bring in the catapults and giant armies and I can't do anything. Um... Now, now I'm thinking about Fortnite. I'm thinking I gotta do a level each day. I forgot to do Fortnite today, and I realized, nah, I did like two yesterday. I don't quite have to do a level a day. I think I have more than that. I think I have more time than that, so should be fine. I'm like level 50 something right now. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna win this one. So, anyway, um, what happens? They start bringing in the armies, I'm- all my guys there are pushed back. I do something stupid, and I have like- I, so I have like three or four thousand wood, about a thousand food, and like a thousand wood- a thousand stone and gold. So I, like a moron, give it all to Brown. So Brown's now gained thousands of resources. And they haven't accepted me as a team- teammate. And what happened to Yellow, they were destroyed. So I had actually sent them some food to make more units, because believe- in- in the games, this is something we didn't know. I mean, my dad we play, or we used to. We used to play a lot. We play a lot less now. It's just you know something we occasionally go back to. Anyway, um, so we didn't know if you send them food through diplomacy that, or resources, they actually gain those resources. So I sent Yellow some food, and they got back in the game, but then they died again, and then they were eliminated as every building from theirs was destroyed. So, so it's looking kind of grim for me, although, because I now have given up all my resources, so now I only have what I have, and I've mined pretty much everything, so all there is is a forest left. So I've been, mi I mine wood like crazy, trying to get all the resources I can, because there's only a bit of wood left, and I have a couple of priests, meaning to gain guys, I have to convert them, or gather wood. I have to, I can, I have to convert them, or get, or get food somehow. I can make food from farms off of wood. So I can turn wood into food, but I have- wood will run out, and I have no gold for priests, so I'm kind of screwed soon. So I start in- so I go back and I'm trying to take back Yellow's land now, which has been invaded by like all the guys, and they're all harvesting- and there's a forest left on our Yellow's island. So I go, I invade, I start fighting them back, and then I walk up the forest, bring five of my normal men over, 
I'm gonna have them start chopping trees while I have all the stolen the stolen cavalry there. And when, and then they're all, the all the all four other teams that are alive right now. They're all enemies of mine. I think they're all working together. They're all harvesting from that forest. So I just I say I get a whole bunch of knights, a whole bunch of cavalry around it, and I just kill everyone who's there because they're all trying to collect from the thing. But okay, one well, good. So they're all trying to collect from the forest, but I need the wood because I already gave all my stuff to Brown. And Brown was a problem at this point. They had like I had given them a ton of stuff, and they had a whole bunch of um siege equipment. They had a siege workshop, and they were building tons of siege stuff. So both and Green too. Green had a bit of siege. Ah. Green had a whole bunch of siege stuff, and I didn't want to have to fight. I didn't want to have to, like, fight the siege stuff. So, I had been sending my cavalry to rush in, destroy the siege, and then the other, their cavalry takes so long to kill mine that... Because basically they have, like, hundred and they have like 180 health, or 220 health. And they do... Like... Maybe they do, like, 8 damage or something-ish. 8-ish damage. But the catapults only have, like, 40 or 50 health. Or 60. So they destroy the catapult and sacrifice themselves in the process, and then I just convert more. So at the moment, I've got, like, 8 of the cavalry. And, one, and like, 2 priests alive. And I only have 1 invading the island in case it, uh, he dies. But the problem is, I have no gold. So if that priest dies... So, at some point, I'm going to exhaust my materials. I've got wood at the moment. It's so... It's, to, it's not... Um, food to hire priests like it is with all the other guys. Some food and some wood or something. It's gold. So stone builds defense. So I used all my stone and I built like defensive towers and walls and I donated the rest because I was stupid. Gave it to the enemy. I should have stopped at some point but I was really hoping they'd become my ally because I needed an ally or I was going to die. Especially with how much I had already given them. So, I had built all the walls and towers I could. I had some wood. I was getting some food just so I could, like, survive. I had done pretty much all the upgrades, and I was unable to get some of the better priest upgrades, meaning I was kind of in trouble, and I had no gold. Because part of, like, the skill tree was locked or something. So I'm pretty screwed now. But I'm able to keep getting their guys. So, if I can retake yellow, and then I'm going to go invade orange, who's next to yellow, I'll have, like, half the map. Granted, it's half the map with no resources. So then I have to keep invading, and all I have to do is convert. I have to hope they have no siege equipment, because then they could get my priests easily. I'm not going to fight this one. Too strong. I'm getting too strong. But I have to hope that I, they just have, like, white, like, um, the cavalrymen. Too many buildings. Don't use too many buildings. It's very bad. So, now it's just invade the four guys, slowly convert their guys, and eventually they're going to run out of food and stuff. They've only got so many materials, so eventually they're going to run out of stuff, and then I'll just be able to convert what's left. Of course, I can't convert buildings and things. I can only convert units. So I have to kill or convert all their units, exhaust their food, and then make sure they can't get more food. So they can turn wood into food by farming, and that lasts a long time. Like, 75 wood will turn into, like, almost 500 food. And they could have, like, 3,000 wood. So essentially, they have, like, 20,000 food, and I've got to exhaust all of that. And then I'll just eventually mo swoop in and kill them. Of course, I have to be careful, because I can't recruit more priests, and I've only got two at the moment, because they've, like, started building tons of towers. Green built a whole bunch of towers, orange has towers... They've all got defense towers. I also have towers, but... I think brown had towers. I've also got towers, but I have no more stones, so I can't keep building them. So all I have is my, like, defended island. And they haven't tried attacking me in a while, because I'll be able to just convert their units. I have enough towers, I can just convert their units, and then... And I don't think anyone... I don't think any of the other teams got the priest upgrade that allows them to convert other priests. So it's lucky there, because otherwise I'd have my priests converted and screwed, and I can't do that because I'm, the part of the skill tree is missing.
six, six, and six. Well, three's not worth it, but four would be. I'm gonna get more. So, hope you enjoyed. I know I, I ended up talking more about, like, I did move up a fair bit. I moved up to, like, 29 from whatever I was. I think I ended up talking more about, um, more about, what's the name? Yes, Age of, Age of Empires. I think I ended up talking about more of, about Age of Empires than the actual game, what they were doing wrong. Hopefully, hopefully you learned something from watching me, though. Almost 3,000. Good. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Remember, if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.